Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm Mariah. Today's topic is state disability insurance programs, SSI disability, and how they are not welfare. This is part two of the of sorry, this is part two of this topic. In this video I will cover California and Hawaii. I will cover New Jersey and New York in part three. I will I will cover and I will cover Puerto Rico and Rhode Island in part four. This video is research based and this video might be longer than my normal videos. All the information I'm presenting in this video is from el the eligibility website or eligibility.com. For this video and the other two that I'm going to do in the future for this topic are going to all be from uh, the third article that I read. So you're going to see that link for that in the video description for this video and then other t the next two vi the other two videos. So I just wanted you to be aware. And I always leave my mistakes in my videos because I want you to see I'm human and I have pronunciation problems, which is part of my disability. And of course, I'm trying to improve on them. But I just want you to see that I'm a real human being and I have, I have <laughs> pronunciation issues. I know some people can relate, so it makes me feel better to leave them in there. So people don't think that I'm like, just, uh, I don't have any uh, flaws, but I do, okay? And sorry for that little side comment, but I just wanted you guys to know that. Okay, and here we go. State disabil states with disability insurance programs. We have five states that have state disability insurance plus Puerto Rico. And the five states are California, Hawaii, New Jersey, New York, and Rhode Island. The programs are meant to partially replace wages for workers that are very ill, injured off the job, and unable to work. All states require that individuals be unable to perform their required task at work, be in the care of health care professional, uh, sorry, care of a health care professional, and have contributed to the fund in the form of wages taken out of a paycheck for a certain amount of time. Individuals of the of states, the sta sorry, of the states of California, New Jersey, and Rhode Island may be offered paid family leave which falls under the umbrella of state disability insurance sorry falls under the state disability insurance umbrella paid family leave allows partial wage replacement for individuals who are unable to work while they care for a spouse registered domestic partner child parent or and or immediate family members most states do allow new parents to use the program to bond with their children. The maximum amount individuals are allowed to collect uh, to collect benefits from state disability are or is. California is 52 weeks of disability and six weeks of paid family leave. Hawaii is 26 weeks of disability. New Jersey is 26 weeks of disability and 42 days of family family leave. New York is 26 weeks of disability, Puerto Rico is 26 weeks of disability, and Rhode Island is 30 weeks uh, for disability. Amount of weekly benefits varies by, varies by state and individual. The state disability insurance program is a, partial, is a partial wage replacement plan that helps workers in five states. We have California, Hawaii, New Jersey, New York, Rhode Island and Puerto Rico, which is, of course, it's not a state. Um, it's different from workers' comp compensation because the injury did not take place at an individual's place of employment. Most individuals can co cannot collect workers' compensation and state disability benefits at the same time. California. The state of California covers state disability insurance or SDI in two tracks. We have disability insurance or DI and paid family leave, PF, which is PFL. There are 18 million California workers um, covered by the, sorry, covered by the program. And I just wanna make a little side note here. Some of this information may be different because all the information that I got is from 2017 and of course it's three years later and this could have changed and this is just what I found at the time. Disability insurance in California. Disability insurance was established by the state in the 1940s to help employees that are unable to work 
because of non-related in injuries, illnesses, pregnancy, and childbirth. Disability insurance eligibility in California. Employ employees are eligible for DI or disability insurance if they are unable to perform their regular job requirements for a minimum of eight consecutive days. Workers must be sorry. Workers must be employed or actively looking for looking for work while receiving the insurance money. They must uh, have lost wages because of their disability, or if if they are unemployed, they must be looking for work. About the claim, in ca and this is for California. A claim begins the date that an individual's disability began, and the weekly benefits are calculated by his or her base period. Import something that's important to note. After a claim has been established, the father cannot change the start date or the dates of the base period. Workers that are ineligible are those not suffering from loss of wages, those that are claiming or receiving unemployment insurance or PFL benefits. Workers that were disabled when committing a crime that resulted in a felony conviction or are serving time in jail, prison, or recovery house because they were convicted of a crime are also ineligible. Any workers' compensation payments must be must be less than DI payments. Recipients must also comply with an independent medical examination when, when requested to do so, or they run the risk of becoming ineligible for DI benefits. Every claim has a seven-day non-payment waiting period, so individuals must be disabled eight calendar days in order to receive DI benefits. However, individuals may not collect sick leave wages that are equivalent to their full salary. Workers that are only collecting part of their salary via sick pay from their employer may be eligible for full or partial DI benefits. Filing a claim for DI in California. Individuals are encouraged to file a claim for DI, sorry, S. Sorry, let me re say that again. Individuals are are encouraged to file a claim through SDI Online. The secure online filing system is the quickest way to file and for doctors, employers, and voluntary plan administrators to submit sub supplementary information. Col uh, receiving payments for California. Most individuals receiving payments, sorry, most individuals receive payments within two weeks of filing. Part-time and substantial work in for California. Individuals that are currently working but were told by a healthcare professional to receive, to reduce their hours and those that are currently working part-time but are still suffering from loss of wages may file for DI benefits. If their wage loss is greater than their benefit amount, they will receive the full DI rate. If their wage loss is equal or less than the weekly their weekly amount, they will receive the amount of their wage only. Part time part part sorry, paid family leave for California. Paid family leave, or PFL, pro provides benefits for workers that need time off to care for a child, sibling, parent, parent-in-law, parent spouse, grandparent, grandchild, and or registered domestic partner. PFL is also eligible for individuals to take care of an adopted or foster child. Paid family leave eligibility for California. Like Disability insurance workers may uh, be eligible for PFL if they suffer wage loss when they are take when they take time off to care for a sick family member or bond with a new child. Severe health conditions that require inpatient, sorry, severe health conditions that require inpatient um, hospital care or hospice for injury impairment, physical or mental illness that make a family member incapacitated in this category. 
Individuals may be eligible to receive up to six weeks of PFL benefits within a one year sorry, in the within the first year of a child's birth adoption or foster placement foster care placement. Filing a claim for PFL in California, individuals must file a claim through SD, SDI online to receive PFL benefits. There is a seven day non pay, payable wait waiting period before individuals can start receiving benefits, except for new mothers transferring from DI to PFL. Receiving payment in California. Those receive those receiving PFL benefits will receive payment in the same way as those receiving DI benefits. Partial and substantial work for uh, sorry and sub, sorry not sub, supplemental I'm sorry work for California. Individuals working part time excuse me may also use PFL benefits. Intermi- intermittently by marking yes to question A13 on form DE2501F and yes to question 6 on form DE2501P. I'm sorry, FP. Is that wrong? And sorry for all my mistakes again because I told you I keep them in there for a reason. Um, and we're now on to Hawaii. Hawaii. Hawaii offers temporary disability temporary temporary disability insurance or TDI. Hawaii temporary Dis- temporary disability insurance or TDI requires employees to prov- to provide partially partial wage replacement for in- employees that are unable to perform their job due to illness, pregnancy, or an injury that. Did not happen on the job. Hawaii TDI eligibility. The partial, the partially, the partial wage replacement program is available to individuals that have been employed in Hawaii for more than twenty hours per week for for over a fourteen week period. Individuals must have worked for more than four hundred dollars. Sorry. Must have worked for more than four hundred dollars, but could have worked from more than one employer um, during that time frame. Individuals must be currently employed in order to be to be eligible, and his or her employer must be paid TDI. Not all employees are eligible. Some examples are government employees, minors, employees who are paid in commission, and interns. Filing a claim for TDI in Hawaii, individuals must alert their employer immediately of an injury or illness. They may, they may ask their employers for a TDI 45 form to submit within 90 days of the start of the disability period. And testing a problem for Hawaii. In the, if, the claim, if the claim is denied, the employer or the insurance company must send the individual a written notice. If the in- individual disagrees with the in- employer or the insurance company, he or she may appeal the decision within 20 days by explaining why he or she is entitled to benefit to benefits and, re- and send two copies of the TDI 46 form to the Disability Compensation Division or the nearest Department of Labor and Industrial Relations District Office in Hawaii. Individuals that are approved for TDI but wish to um, contest the amount of benefits they will they receive can contact the Disability Compensation Division or the closest Department of Labor and Industrial Relations District Office in Hawaii and should submit copies of the pay stubs to build a case. Receiving benefits in Hawaii. The amount of money received as TDI benefits is determined by the employer's insurance plan. Minimum benefit standards in Hawaii include 58% of an individual's weekly pay 
for a maximum of 26 weeks. There is a seven consecutive day wait period for benefits. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that it was so long, but there's a lot. there was a lot of information to cover. I will post the article that I used in the video description box along with a brief video description. As always, I'm open to any suggestions you have for any future video topics. You can let me know what they are in the comment section or feel free to you. You can also uh, message me on my Twitter page or leave a comment under the video link that I'm probably going to post there. And my, if you want to know my Twitter handle, it is at Burley Mariah, and I can spell it for you, at B-U-R-L-E-Y-M-A-R-I-H. So it's my last name then my first name. The next video is going to be part three of state disability program start state disability insurance programs, SSI disability and how they are not welfare. I hope everyone's continuing to stay safe. I want you to know that I'm praying for you, your families, and the world. I will post my notes in the comment section for anyone who needs them. Please like, share, and subscribe if you want to and found this video to be helpful. Feel free to share this video with anyone you think needs it. If you want to be notified for when I upload new content or do any live streams, you will want to click the bell icon, which I think is located next to the subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. I love all of you. Bye!